Hello students, in this video we are going to learn the second poem that is Indian Weavers. This short and meaningful poem is written by Sarojini Naidu. So what do you think is the poem about from its title? The title of the poem clearly indicates that the poem is about weavers. The poet may be describing the work of weavers, especially Indian weavers, and want to appreciate their work in this poem that we will come to know in the poem itself. So let us first understand the meaning of weavers. Weaver is a person who create a piece of cloth by interlacing threads of fabric such as wool or cotton using traditional techniques. Weavers are also called artisans. Artisan means a person who makes things skillfully with hands. They are also called craftsmen. They are creators of diverse goods and use their hands to create unique, functional, useful and decorative items using traditional techniques. Now we will move to activity number one. Now students, can you think of the different types of artisans like weavers? Yes, of course. Like weavers, we have goldsmith, blacksmith, carpenter, shoemaker, potter and many more. So think about them and write in your notebook. Now activity number two, discuss with your partner the seasons and occasions when we need a woolen clothes, b casual clothes, c rich silk clothes and the colorful comfortable clothes. So as you know that we need woolen clothes in winter season to warm our body. Then we need casual clothes in everyday life for all seasons. Then rich silk clothes are used for various festivals and ceremonies. Likewise, you have to think about the colorful, comfortable clothes and uh, write down in your notebook. Now, for activity number three. In this activity, students have to write one word for group of words. While writing, students have to note some exceptional cases. Like one who teaches is a teacher, but one who cooks is not a cooker, but a cook. So, likewise, you, have, you will have to solve the activity in your notebook. Activity number four. We have often seen the picture of Gandhiji spinning on his charkha. Discuss the reason behind this. Some of the reasons are given over here. Students should try to find the other reasons. Now let us move to activity number 5. Name some tools used by weavers. So here on the image you can see tools used by weavers like loom frame, weaving yarn, tapestry needle etc. Now for activity number 6, name some types of yarns used by the weavers. So types of yarns given over here. Now let's get to know about Sarojini Naidu, the poet of this poem. Sarojini Naidu was a political activist, feminist and the first Indian woman who became the president of Indian National Congress. She was an important figure in India's struggle for independence. Sarojini Naidu's work as a poet earned her the sobriquet of Nightingale of India. Later, she became the governor of the United Province in 1947, becoming the first woman to hold the office of the governor in independent India. Now, before starting a poem, some important points are given over here. Indian Weavers is a short poem where the poet talks about three types of garment that the weavers weave at the three particular times of a day. Each stanza of the poem represents the three important events of human life, birth, childhood, adulthood that is young and the death. The colors mentioned in the stanzas are very significant as they indicate the moods related to the events. Now let us get into the poem. Structure of poem. This is a short poem consisting of three stanzas having four lines each. The poem has a rhyme scheme AABB. The poem consists of a discussion between the poet and the weavers. The poet asks the questions and weavers answer. Stanza number one. Weavers weaving at break of day. Why do you weave a garment so gay? Blue as the wing of halcyon wild. We weave the robes of newborn child. The first line of this stanza tells us about the time when weavers start their work. The poet uses here time phrase at break of day, which means rise of the day or early morning. Then poet asks the questions to the weavers. Here gay is an adjective which means happy. So poet asks why they look so happy while weaving the clothes. 
In the next line, blue as the wing of a halcyon wild. The poet compares the cloth with the blue colored wing of a wild halcyon. Here, halcyon is a bird having bright and colorful plumes of feather. Then in the next line, weavers reply that they are weaving a beautiful dress for newborn baby. Hence, they are happy. So in the first stanza, a number of images are used to describe the first stage of human life like break of the day is metaphorically used for the birth which is happy moment for everyone then blue color symbolizes beauty happiness freshness hopes and expectation now coming to the second stanza weavers weaving at fall of night why do you weave a garment so bright like the plumes of peacock purple and green we weave the marriage wells of a queen now here poet again meets the Indian weavers. This is the time during the fall of night. It probably refers to the evening or dusk time. Moreover, it is also the time during which most of the Indian marriages take place. The poet questions the weavers why they weave a garment so bright like the plumes of a peacock, purple and green. The garment at this time is bright and full of colors like feathers of peacock. The weavers replied that they weave the marriage wells of a queen, thus referring to the second or in the other words adult stage of the life. The colors purple and green symbolizes sorrow and happiness or struggle and ease in one's adult stage. Now coming to the third stanza, weavers weaving solemn and steel, what do you weave in the moonlight chill? White as a feather and white as a cloud, we weave a dead man's funeral shroud. Now in this last stanza, the poet finds the weaver solemn and still, which means they are quite sorrowful and silent. They are weaving something in the moonlight chill, which is white as a feather and white as a cloud, that is colorless and lifeless. As the poet fails to figure out what it is, and why they are sorrowful and silent. She asked them what are they weaving rather than why are they weaving. Then weavers reply that they are weaving shroud. Shroud means cloth put on the dead body. Thus the third and the final stage is death which is emotionless and lifeless like white cloud and white feather. In this way the life which begins with joy, hope etc. ends with a sorrow and grief. Points to remember, Sarojini Naidu sum up the life of human beings on earth in three main stages by using symbols like clothes and times of the day. The journey of the life begins with one color that is blue, which means with joy and happiness. It continues with the addition of a number of colors that is green and purple, which means sorrow also enter into the life along with the happiness. The life is more active in this stage than in the first stage. In the final stage, all the colors vanish away and a single color that is white remains which means emotions are connected with the life and when the person dies all emotions also die. So that's it for now. I hope you have understood the poem. Keep watching and keep educating yourself. Thank you very much.